Yo guys, this is Luke Nine Hundred. This is Luke Hayes. And today we're going to be talking about Detroit. Yep, we just found the second trailer for it from E3. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to uh, do a little comparison between trailer one and trailer two. This is going to be a super long video, like like some of our past videos. We're just going to compare and contrast and just share a little insight on what we think about the two trailers. So, um, first of all, a quick refresh. Trailer 1... The reveal trailer was about, um, wait, did we ever have her name? Kara? No? What's the name of Android? Yeah. You know what? I don't know. I can't remember at this point. I feel like we may have, but then at the same time, I can't really confirm that she had a name yet. Hmm. I have to rewatch it and see. Yeah. Oh well. Not really that important at the moment, I don't think. Um. She was, you know, she was more of like a freelance, um, freelance android that wanted to like explore the world and whatnot. She was independent, like, like she didn't, she, she acted like she didn't need anybody. Yeah. Well, compared to the newer trailer where the guy was, seemed like he was working for the police force. And the new one seemed like, I don't know, like you see like he has his own thoughts, like, you know, you know, you, you know, he was programmed, he, like, he, he seemed like his own man, his own person. Yeah. I can definitely see that. So, is that like, you know, like, it seemed like, like they were real people, even though they weren't. Yeah, yeah, so that's... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know yeah, like, I I definitely understand where you're going, because look at the, um, the, the guy who held the girl hostage. He seemed very, he seemed like a human and not an android. I mean, he was an android, but, you know, he seemed more human. Yeah, he, he made it more personal or something. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like he, um, he wanted to have a purpose. Exactly. But, you know, another thing we saw in the second trailer that we obviously didn't see on the first one was all the different choices you can make. I literally like. And the only way it's kind of intimidating when you have so many choices on how to save the girl. And you don't know which one will save the girl and not kill her, and not kill yourself. Yeah, I mean, you have to, you have to be very uh, pick and choosy with it.
the uh, like whenever it branched off and shown all the different choices that were available that chose like different paths, it was a little um, intimidating, I guess. Yeah, like when they showed them all, like the things he could do, he could read the papers, do this, do this, feel the gun, go here, go there. Yeah. It's sad to drop the gun, it's sad to shoot, it's sad to do this, it's sad to do that, it's sad to tell the helicopter to go away. Yeah, yeah. Like, whenever I saw that, I was like, oh, like, there, there's so many choices, and, you know, each one of those choices probably leads to another choice, and... It, it, it seems like a very giant branch of choices. So he's gonna give me some type of... Uh, a, 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 a pick out of it. When, when you give somebody a headache for seeing too for seeing to much information at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Information overload. <laughs> this is very true. There was just too much information. There was. But, but I think it's going to be fun. I think once we get into it, we're going to really enjoy it. Right. It, it, like I said, it definitely is intimidating, but I think it can be a lot of fun to seeing to see what kind of uh, di different outcomes there are. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? Like, like I think it's gonna be fun because you know you. You're probably gonna make a decision that I'm not gonna make, and it's gonna lead us down different paths. Mm -hmm. Um. Like I like how I one thing I will say. Mm -hmm. Is, is like with the options, is that it makes you feel like the, that like you're in control of a real person because like a real person would would have all these options and would, and, and would be thinking about all the ways he could do try to save this little girl. You know, a real person would be thinking, oh, I, can, I can do this, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? So. Is really giving you as a as a real person, even though he's not a real person, being the real person we're thinking of. Yeah. If right. he was a trained negotiator, he'd be thinking all these things, all these all these scenarios as as he's walking over towards. Yeah, because um. He's walking over towards the guy. What do you think? It it makes me like I've I know you've had this situation. You you've played a game and like you know you see something, you know you've had something happen, and you really kind of like wish you knew what could have happened if it had been done differently. Like like you know you I'm sure you've played a game and you've had like a character die and then you're like. I wonder what would have happened if that character hadn't died. Yeah. But, you know, Detroit kind of, like where I'm going with that is, you know, Detroit kind of offers that situation. Because there's no... How can I say this? The, yeah. The, the story's not really, like, set, you know? Yeah, 
how funny it is show Detroit when you think about it. Because nothing at all is going on in Detroit right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it it looks like such a good game though. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say it bit. <laughs> eh, no biggie. <laughs> I think we're gonna see more of that, more of this in the future trailers too. Mm -hmm. Which I'm really looking forward to because I, I'm all up for different characters and because you know, each one of them have will have a different personality. Anything else you want to compare? No. No? It, it, it pretty much does it for me for that. Yeah, I, I, I think it does for me too. I want to cover it as much as I can, as fast as I can, because I, I want to I go through as much as I can. Yeah. Um, okay, so, anything else you want to say? Yeah. What, uh, what, what else do you want to say? I'm going to E3. Okay, so, um, I guess we'll, uh, end this video here, and, uh, go on to some other vids if you guys go watch those too uh, oh, oh I totally recommend seeing at least the second trailer for Detroit it will blow your socks out yes I mean I would have never thought it's so awesome because I I didn't think this truck could get better until I saw that video. Oh, it, it, it got better. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Um. But it does make you wonder what it, what her powers are going to be. I mean, like, what is she going to be doing? Yeah. You know, running through the city. Yeah, definitely. Like, what? Like, where... Like I can, like I can kind of understand what the one, like the male android, like I can under, I can understand what he's gonna be doing because you know police work and whatnot. But we didn't really get a background for her. But uh. Yeah, anywho, um, I'm good if you are. 
Yeah, I'm good. Right. I think I talked about it as much as I can for right now. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we'll discuss it some more at a later time. Yes. I think I'm, I'm good for it for, uh, for right now. Yeah. Okay, so I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment and, you know, give us your opinions on this too. And, uh, well, catch you later. This is Flutes 900. And, uh, you all good? Yeah. All right. This is Flips 900. And, yeah. You ready for your outro? Do, do it now. Ready for their out, their outro? This is Flute 900. And this is Zeus Latest. And signing off. Peace. Later. Peace.